Hey all, um, I'm going to show you all how you can make a progress bar that is adjustable using the gap value in auto layout. Um, so first of all, what we're going to do is create the parent frame around those corners. Uh, let's make it eight pixels high and give it a background color. Um, we're going to name this progress bar. And then we're going to make our start frame. We're going to round those corners. And this will be the foreground enabled color. And we're going to duplicate that for the end point. Let's name this end. Um, and then from there, what we're going to do is create the progress bar container it's going to go in. So I'm just going to make it here. Round. Oops, around those corners. Um, we are going to fill this enabled, and then I'm going to drop my start point in, then my end point, and then throw an auto layout on that. And we don't need any padding left and right, so make sure you remove that. And then you can see here, this is what's controlling that it's pushing that start point and end point away from each other, allowing you to adjust the gap to get that progression. So and then I'm going to drop that in the parent frame and then just center and left align. Um, so there you go. And then to add a tooltip, um, I have a tooltip component over here which um, utilizes um, absolute positioning and a, a zero height frame to get it outside of this container. Um, so I'm going to select well, this one up here. And I'm just going to drop it in my endpoint and set the auto layout to fixed, fixed, and adjust the sizing on it and then just center it. We can set the constraints to center, center. And then I'm going to hide the help icon because I don't actually need it. And then I think by default, everything is set to clip. So we are going to undo that. And then there you go. You've got your um, tooltip that you can um, adjust the position of.